we approach the auspicious festive season, the question is, will the festive cheer brighten up the stock market too? We kicked off our somewhat market masters by taking stock of the market trends with one of the longest serving fund managers in India, Prashant Jain of HDFC Mutual Fund. Uh, we spoke with him. Here is an excerpt of that exclusive chat. I would say the markets are fairly valued and equities in the near term are always a volatile asset class. If there are some global developments which cause anxiety, so maybe markets can correct. But as we have said time and again, whenever Indian markets fall uh, purely because of global developments and underlying fundamentals are good, use these corrections as good opportunities to increase your allocation towards equities. Go back and see uh, Lehman crisis, go back and see tapering, go back and see pigs, Exit. go back and see Brexit. Each of these events has given good opportunity to invest in the same market which is at slightly lower levels. Now, I know you, your philosophy has been I don't care for the near term highs, but nevertheless there is a category of people who do. I uh, do care, but I am not able to <laughs> answer the question. That's a, I do no, care. I mean, I would love to say today markets will go up, tomorrow they will <laughs> come down, but I don't think either me or for that matter anyone else in my opinion is capable of really forecasting the near term movements of the markets and for that I mean you just have to go back and look at the track record mm. of what has been said at different points of time mm -hmm. and you will realize that there is a lot of noise around but very little substance. Where will you see earnings growth uh, in the uh, third and fourth quarters in fact for that matter even second? I think we are now uh, embarking I think on a cycle of strong earnings growth for next few years in my opinion oh. and uh, I think what has happened in last few years is that certain sectors have come under very high degree of stress. These were the corporate banks, the metal companies yep. and one or two other sectors like construction engineering and these are the sectors which drove down the aggregate Sensex EPS growth because their earnings fell by half or more than half. Now I think what we are seeing is that the stress in these sectors is steadily reducing every passing quarter and these sectors will achieve normalized profitability over the next two years. So I think these three, uh, two, three sectors should drive very strong uh, earnings growth and that should lift the aggregate earnings growth for the broader markets as well.